So continuing our topic, we would like to show you the film. The film is the result of our research and investigation uh, within t t this year. Studying the problem, uh, this uh, appearing of intra uh, hospital infection, we tried to understand where, on what stage, the mistakes appear. Now we will show you the real pictures, but our aim was not to laugh at somebody's mistakes, but just to understand. So here you can see, yeah, the nurse had the drugs, she put it with her bare hand. Those are pictures from our real life. Yeah, let's see the bed. Yeah, they haven't noticed it. The aim, our goal, what goal we had. We wanted to think, really to think about uh, how much disposable soap, how much antiseptic you use, how, how often you need to ask for bottle, for a new bottle, once a month, once a week, etc. The second question was, within this normal, ordinary clinic, what gloves would you prefer? Just out of uh, just a box or a sterile box? But the main question was, we want to ask you and think of it. Is it really so necessary to have this strict system of control of hand cleaning, hygienic procedures, maybe some work out some special devices to look after us, to monitor something, or just we can grow up in our employees, in ourselves, this feeling of responsibility, high social responsibility. Let's watch the film. Light. So here you can see the movie by outpatient clinic product. A usual morning in a usual clinic. Pay your attention to the situations that really happen in real life, but they do not relate to some particular employee or institution. Have a nice watching. Pelelitis was a very nice period of humanity. So Neanderthal had only 150 contacts with, uh, with other people within all his life. Nowadays, the citizens of a big cities have 1,500 uh, 1, contacts within one day. Every day we meet people, we say goodbye to people. What else? Apart from good willings, we wish each other shaking hands. So we've got the results and we found out in the swabs uh, Staphylococcus, Escherichia coli, those microorganisms can cause infection, also can cause catheter-associated infections, and in a range of cases it can cause intra-hospital pneumonia. You need to understand and pay attention to the manipulation as washing hands. It's a necessary measure 
It's a simple action nowadays, and it's not our problem, but also a problem all over the world. Hand hygiene is an obvious measure to fight the infections. Not following this manipulation within the medical workers nowadays is the main problem. It's very strange. Why person with high education, with medical education, who understands the problem from the inside, really skips to have this procedure? Nowadays, using this manipulation, we proved and we have special data of WHO, even if we decrease the incidence by 0.1 percent, it will really pay off for all the antiseptics and all the expenditures we use to realize hygienic measures. So that's why we have this rule. When you take off your coat and shoes, wash your hands, came to your working place, wash your hands, wash hands, always. Where, wherever you have this necessity and possibility. If you approach the patient, let him know that your hands are clean. So let's ask the leading research worker, the head of breast cancer, PhD, Kriwarotsko Pyotr Vladimirovich. Pyotr Vladimirovich, may I ask you a question? What do you think the intra-hospital infection? Is it a serious danger or is it overestimated? Intra-hospital infection is a very big problem for a big clinic. And I think that if you think that you can solve the problem using um, modern means, Actually, intraclinical infection can cause lots of problems. And the worst thing is that when you use different solutions, it can prevent us from solving the surgical tasks that stand in front of us. And according to you, what do you think? about Pavlov's quotation that only when you understand all the reasons of the disease, it, uh, the medicine will turn into hygiene. I think that Pavlov thought that hygiene is the science that studies the way of living. And without changing this way of living and attitude to your organism, to your nutrition, to your cleanliness, including the intra-hospital infection, it's hand cleaning, we cannot solve the problem of infection. Thank you very much for answering our questions. It's very important to understand the severity of the situation. We wish you not to have any intra-hospital infection. So how it happens? If we follow all the measures of prevention, there are still some cases of intraclinical infection. Let's have a look from the outside. And let's look at it from the outside.
And now we are going to use the problem of a hospital acquired infection is uh, typical of other countries as well. According to Lancet article, nurses, uh, they follow the rules better than doctor. 75% of nurses, uh, they follow the rules of hand washings, but doctors amounts to 60%. It was uh, this study was conducted in developed countries. There are different obstacles uh, that prevent doctors to comply with the rules. The reasons uh, that foreign d doctors mentioned we can see in Russian hospitals as well. First of all, forgetfulness to wash hands, uh, to be in a hurry or high workload, the absence of information where the sink is located or difficult access to this place. Some hospitals today, they use bracelets that all personnel wear. Uh, these uh, devices uh, that start vibrating, alerting doctors or nurses so that they are entering the area where the patient is and where the procedure of hand washing is very important. Devices, uh, they collect the information about uh, the number of hand washing and the time of hand washing and the use of disinfectants. A routine, what is a routine? It's a huge part of our life and we don't notice how our children grow, how the seasons change. We live from uh, holiday to holiday, from weekends to weekends. But in this part of our life, there are many problems, wishes, concerns, great plans and uh, secret hopes. To be successful, if you want to be successful, one should be confident in the fact that everything has done properly and correctly. Hospitals. Hospital is a unified organism. There is everything is necessary here. It's important here. Everybody shoulders responsibility for, for well-being of this establishment. Employees are to be confident uh, that the objects in their premises are not infected. Uh, that uh, keyboard, uh, their hand pieces, uh, they are not infected. No sin, no linocera. Dear colleagues, please don't judge severe. Uh, severe, it's our debut, our first night. It's very important to know your opinion. Do you agree that uh, these situations that we have shown, they do exist in our life? And uh, something similar 
might have been happening in your hospitals. We are trying to understand where we start making mistakes. Dear colleagues, do you have any comments, questions? Uh, you are very, very good actors and actresses. You are very creative. Um, amazing film. I think uh, it's your leader, creative leader, and you follow uh, the creative leader. It's uh, You have a real team. Yes, uh, I may reveal that we do face these things. And I'd like to mention uh, raise the following issue as to education and training of our nurses. We are as leaders, we travel a lot, uh, we acquire knowledge, we share experience, but if you go to the regions, uh, the problems arise. Uh, there is no senior doctors who thinks similarly. And what we are doing now, it's one step forward to knowledge acquisition. We have to, uh, we have to deal, or we have to stir, so to say, our regional areas, our regions. Uh, what we wanted to put across is the necessity to raise uh, the general cultural level. When a nurse comes to work, the first thing she has to do uh, to wash hands. It should be habitual, and we have to wash hands uh, frequently. And this uh, um, uh, quotation of uh, by Pavlov, uh, it's very important, uh, and like Krivorodsko, Dr. Krivorodsko mentioned, we have to change our lifestyle. It's a high level of social responsibility for people around you. I want to point out once again, when you bring in tablets for patients, and I'd like also to mention that our patients may follow us, or may watch us, sorry, uh, our room. As you noticed, uh, we like we are like on the scene, uh, and uh, during six eight hours, patients may watch what we are doing. Uh, everything is happening in front of the eyes of our patients. Uh, the colleague wants to say something. We don't walk to, don't want to stop uh, with this project. Uh, I think that uh, up to next year we will prepare something more interesting. Thank you.